I made you a promise, didn't I? I said you would experience a dread like no other you've felt before. Uh, his speed is incredible. So that's Frieza's true form. But I won't lose. Not as I am now. Seems your moves were too fast for the runs to catch, but I can see them clear as day. I admire your confidence, Vegeta. But I'm afraid your mind is so overcome with fear that you've become delusional. You won't be laughing for very long, Frieza. After all, you're up against your cr a Super Saiyan! Frieza's final form. <laughs> you haven't lost your ridiculous sense of humor. There won't be a need for Kakarot when I... I can see you! I don't believe it! This can't be! A absurd! This can't be the extent of my power! Are you finished? I think I'll make the next move. I'll be gentle. For the very first time in his life, Vegeta had finally begun to experience true dread. Overcome with hopelessness and frustration, he was reduced to tears. The mighty prince of the warrior race had lost his will to fight.
If you wish to save him, feel free to try at any time. overflowing with power it's actually kind of freaking me out whoa I better get going hang on guys I'm on my way Yeah! 
I am late. I'll take things from here. Dad? Goku! It looks like I still have some trash to dispose of. Kakarot. Hm. Kakarot. Oh, I see. So you're a Saiyan as well. I intend to rid the universe of every last one of you. There's something different about Kakarot. Has he finally done it? Is he a Super Saiyan? You actually countered one of my attacks. I'm impressed. <laughs> hmm? Frieza, I'd get serious if I were you. You're finally face to face with your worst nightmare. Uh, a Super Saiyan! <laughs> the, the legendary Saiyan warrior, the strongest fighter in the universe. <laughs> You're finished, Frieza. <laughs> <laughs> You're finally going to get what you... Did I not make myself clear before? I've grown tired of your pathetic jokes. Stop! Don't you see he can't fight back anymore? He's done. Just let him go. K Kakarot, you're... Just as soft as always. Perhaps you're not a Super Saiyan after all. <laughs> you idiot. Stop letting your emotions hold you back. Stop being so soft and you can finally do it. You can become a Super Saiyan. Kakarot, listen. Our own planet, Planet Vegeta, wasn't destroyed by a meteor. It, it was Frieza. We... We Saiyans, we Saiyans were his enforcers. We followed his every order. Mm. Your parents, my father, the king, they, they were all murdered by that monster. I beg you, Kakarot, please, please defeat Frieza. Please, I beg of you. He must die by saying hands. <sighs> uh. I was wondering when he'd finally die. Vegeta, it must have been really difficult for a proud guy like you to beg me for help. 
I hated you at first, but I began to understand over time. You were a proud Saiyan warrior. Just know this. I'll do what I can to carry on that pride of yours. Hey, I'm a Saiyan raised on Earth. And to avenge those you've brutally murdered. The Saiyans and the Namekians. I'm going to defeat you! Utter nonsense. We're just in the way. We need to get out of here. Go on, come on, hurry! Please don't die, Dad! Make Frieza pay for what he did! This has been fun. It's been quite some time since I've exerted myself this much. Man, I'm in trouble. If he's serious about the half power thing, then even the Kaioken times ten isn't gonna be enough. I should be able to hold my own if I push it to times twenty, though. My body might not be able to handle it, but I've gotta try! What's going on? It, it barely, it barely did a thing. My dad's energy, it's a lot weaker than it was before. I can't believe someone's actually that strong. Guess King Kai was right. Can't believe I'm saying this, but we shouldn't have picked this fight with Frieza.
Lucas, you Saiyan! Well now, that actually hurt. That actually hurt! <laughs> Where has all your energy gone? What? Have you exhausted yourself already? I can't watch anymore. I'm gonna help him! Wait. Seems like Goku's got something in the works. Super Saiyan. The Spirit Bomb! All things living on Namek, and all planets that can hear me, lend me as much energy as you can! Give me the strength I need! What are you doing? Don't tell me. Is this another one of your pathetic attacks? What can you possibly accomplish by just standing there? Uh, well, he's made a spirit bomb? That huge? Frieza doesn't appear to know what's going on right now. I don't understand why Goku doesn't just attack him. He's probably thinking that he needs more energy so that he can take Frieza down for good this time. Man, I wish this thing didn't take so long to get ready. I have to make sure he doesn't figure out what I'm doing. Come on! This is getting ridiculous. How much longer do you intend to keep that up? <laughs> Not sure. As long as I have to, I guess. <laughs> Say, uh, you're not in a hurry, are you? You dare mock me? I do not understand you, Saiyans. Your kind has been a thorn in my side for as long as I can remember. Once I destroyed that Saiyan child and this entire planet, the Saiyans will finally be no more. The legend of the Super Saiyan will remain just that, a legend. That's not the sun. What the? Oh, we saw it. Stay here. No matter what happens, do not leave this spot. What is that? Is that some sort of ball of energy? It's no use. If I launch the spirit bomb at him right now, he's just gonna dodge it. Besides, it doesn't even have enough power to take Frieza down. Ah, damn it! You were planning a sneak attack this whole time. How pathetic! But all of your idiotic planning and effort has gone to waste. You're finished! Piccolo! Hurry up and finish that spirit bomb already! Thanks, Piccolo. You vile, insignificant pests! How dare you interfere in this! <laughs> So there are more of you, are there? <laughs> you certainly know how to test my limited patience. It ends now! I will reduce you and this entire planet to nothing but ashes! All right. It's done. Release it!
You made it. Yeah. But where are my dad and Piccolo? They were right by the impact, weren't they? You... you... Hey, it's Goku and Piccolo we're talking about. They wouldn't go down that e... Krillin, the energy's faint. Right, come on. Hey! Dad! Goku! <sighs> you did it! <laughs> Let's go home, you guys. Uh, what is it, Krillin? We totally forgot about Bulma! Don't scare me like that. <laughs> uh, no, it can't be! It's Frieza! <laughs> Mr. Piccolo! You worms. I'm going to eradicate every last one of you! Krillin! No! Let him go, Frieza! Go, go! <laughs> and now for the little brat. You and head back to Earth now! Uh, uh, Hurry, Gohan! Before I lose what little sense of reason I have left! Uh, uh, okay! What's going on? What's happened to him? <laughs> it can't be! I, I think I know what's going on. My dad finally did it! He's become a Super Saiyan! I've had enough! Now I'm mad, Frieza! You will know your place, you filthy Saiyan! You're responsible for the deaths of so many innocent people! Like my friend Krillin! You have some nerve! Your friends? You act as if Saiyans don't have just as much blood on their hands! Yeah, they may your turn to be exterminated! Of yours. 
you have no hope of beating me. You can destroy entire planets, but you can't take down one single person? What are you? You mean you haven't figured it out yet? I'm the Saiyan who's come all the way from Earth to defeat you! I am the warrior you've heard of in legends. I am pure of heart and awakened by fury, that's what I am. I am the Super Saiyan, Son Goku! <laughs> I stand corrected. I suppose the legends were true after all. I hate you! I hate you! It's over, Frieza. Is it now? I won't let it end this way. I would rather take my own life than be killed by scum like you! Fine by me. But the one that's going to die isn't me. It'll be you! <laughs> I can survive in the vacuum of space. Let's find out if the same can be said for Saiyans! <laughs> this planet will die! No! restrain myself too much. But the core has been completely destroyed. In five minutes' time, this planet will explode and become nothing more than debris floating through space. Five minutes, huh? Well, that's all the time I need. I'll avenge Krillin by defeating you, then find my friends and get out of here. Defeat me? Impossible! You have given me no choice. It's time to show you. Prepare for my full power! Frieza. You know, the only reason I'm letting you reach full power is because I want to beat you at your best. As a warrior, I wouldn't have it any other way. Besides, you want to test out your full power too, don't you? My apologies for the wait. As requested, this is my full power! Goku's struggling. At this rate, he might not be able to make it off planet Namek before it explodes. No way! There must be something we can do. Wait, that's it? Yes, that should work! Guardian of Earth, Kami, can you hear me? Yes, King Kai, I can hear you. Will you be able to summon Shenron right away? I have a wish to make. Ah, yes. I've already had Mr. Popo gather all of the Dragon Balls. We were planning to use them to revive those currently in your care. Right. Because Earth Dragon Balls can revive many people at once. But can they revive those who died naturally? I'm afraid those who died of natural causes cannot be brought back. But what about those whose lives were shortened as a result of an encounter with a villain? Hmm. I suppose such people could be revived, if only for the brief time that was taken from them. All right, then. Here's the wish. 
Ask Shenron to bring back all those that were killed by Frieza and his men. What? I'll explain. We don't have much time, so I'll make this quick. First, we'll use the Earth Dragon Balls to revive all those killed by Frieza. That should mean all Namekians, including Grand Elder Guru, should be revived. We've only had two of the three wishes granted with the Namekian Dragon Balls. Now, very strange. With Grand Elder Guru back, we should still be able to make one last wish, right? With that last wish, we'll transport everyone on Namek other than Frieza to Earth. Oh, I get it! You've really thought this through, King Kai. Anyway, that's the gist of it. Now hurry! Planet Namek won't be around much longer! Oh, oh, I see. I'll summon Shenron right away. Now, state your wish. I shall grant you any wish that you desire. to the world of the living. Grand Elder Guru of Planet Namek, this is King Kai of the North Quadrant of the Galaxy. Please listen closely. blow you to a million pieces, just like that Earthling! What are you talking about? Are you talking about Krillin? Don't you dare talk about Krillin! And now Planet Namek is about to explode! There should be one wish left with the Dragon Balls there. I need you to summon Shenron! For the last wish, ask him to send everyone there except Frieza to Earth. I understand, King Kai. I appreciate your concern. But wishes must be made directly, I'm afraid. I will contact whomever is closest to the Dragon Balls and tell them your wish. Wait! Don't make that wish! Listen to me. Ask him to leave both Frieza and me behind. Come on, ask him! Uh, you heard us, Goku? I, I understand what you're trying to do, but... Listen, King Kai, if you don't let me finish things with Frieza, I'm never going to forgive you! Fine, fine. I understand. If that's really what you want... This is Guru. Grand Elder Guru? Please save your questions. 
I would like you to ask Purunga to grant one final wish. Dende, will you ask him to transport all those on Namek except for Frieza and the Saiyan Goku to Earth? Okay. There's something wrong. Do you not have a wish? Here... Here is our final wish! What? That's... The... The Dragon Balls! Yes! No, wait! Hopurunga, Frieza, Pipoto, Goku! Make me... Understood, it will be done. However, all except these two will be sent to Earth. What? My children, this huh? is a planet called Earth. My time is once again at hand, I'm afraid. But before I leave this world once more, I wish to explain what has just happened. The battle against that fiend Frieza still continues back on our home planet. Would you look at that? You need to speak the local language in order to make a wish. It's just us now, Frieza. Me and you. Finally, I've been waiting for this. How very curious. It would seem you're willing to pay the ultimate price to settle our conflict. Very well.
I'm done. You're done? This fight is over. There's no point anymore. I can tell you're afraid. I don't need to defeat you anymore. You, you dare mock me? I will not live! <laughs> You brought this upon yourself, Frieza. Though I have to admit, I didn't see it ending quite like this. Cuz you saying? Uh... I'm going to make my way back to Earth. You can stay here and suffer the same fate as this planet. I beg you. Uh, please have mercy. Please have mercy. I beg you. How can you beg for mercy? How many people begged you for mercy before you slaughtered them? How many? I beg you. I've given you just a little bit of my energy. That's all you get. You're on your own. Being in the universe, and that is why you, you must, you must die by my hand! You fool! What? No. Goku survived his battle with Frieza. However, planet Nemec had finally reached its limit, exploding in spectacular fashion and leaving Goku nowhere to be found. Back on Earth, Vegeta and the relocated Namekians resolved to stay with Bulma for the time being. Not much time had passed before Grand Elder Guru once again passed away. This time, surrounded by his people. With Mori as the new Grand Elder, the Namekian Dragon Balls would be ready in one Namekian year, or 130 days on Earth. Though the Namekian Dragon Balls were only capable of reviving one person per wish, they could revive those that had died multiple times. Upon making their wishes to bring Goku and Krillin back, everyone received some shocking news. Goku was alive, and he was on his way back to Earth. 
To prevent Krillin from being brought back to life on the now destroyed Namek, his soul was brought back to Earth with the first wish, and then revived with the second. No longer needing to revive Goku, next in line to be brought back was Yamcha, whom everyone was more than happy to see. Then, another 130 days had passed and two of the three wishes had been used to bring back the beloved Chaozu and Tien. Then, with the third and final wish, the Namekians were transported to a new planet. Along with their legendary Dragon Balls. Hey, it's me, Goku! What's that now? You're telling me Frieza's alive? And right now he's making his way to Earth with his father? They're probably gonna do something awful while I'm not there, aren't they? You're not gonna get away with this, Frieza. Huh? Who are you? Stay tuned for the next episode of Dragon Ball Z! The fight for the future against the android terror! You don't want to miss it!